And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last expedition of the week. It is Thursday. Uh, we're going to be embarking again at trying to get that seven win. So far, we've had a good week in expeditions. Uh, first day, we got six wins. Yesterday, we got th that seven win dream. Going to try to accomplish that again today. We get our two chances. Trial one, trial two. Let's start trial number one. Here we go. Uh, let's use... 3,000 shards. All right, so what are we going to be drafting? We got some good choices. Looks like we get a five-mana champion no matter what. So we got uh, Demacian Steel with Garen, Swift Wing Lancer, which is a, another good five drops with two good five drops, and then a good one drop with Scythria. And we can, you know, we could go like, a, we could try to draft a bunch of elites. Um, but, you know, Demacia is just a good, uh, it's a good mid-range um, place to be in expeditions. Uh, that's a good bucket. Karma, obviously a very, very powerful individual card whenever you draw Karma. Um, but Shadow Shift is not a card that I like that much. Will of Ionia, pretty decent, you know, a pretty decent trick. Uh, nothing wrong with that. And then we have Thresh, which a card that I still I think is a very very underrated uh, champion, a card that I think is very good. Um, so I like Thresh, you know, just I like these. Like Thresh is awesome, but I don't love Ancient Crocolith and Scuttlegeist. So I kind of want to go Thresh because I just haven't really played Thresh decks as much, but I don't like these cards that Thresh is paired with. Hey, Wordle. Remember, those of y'all watching in Twitch chat, you get to vote. Um, you know, cast your votes. All right. And all the votes so far have been for the Demacian Steel. And I kind of like that. It's, you know, like this, you, we're not going to build a bad Demacian deck. Like, you know, like you were, it's, it's hard to build a bad Demacian deck. Like here, like a Karma deck, like your deck's going to be so much more powerful when you draw Karma than whenever you don't have Karma. This, you're going to have a pretty functional deck whether or not we draw Garen. And Garen's pretty good anyway. All right. So everybody vote for Garen. Let's go Garen. Okay. Um, hmm. So Teemo, we know, is pretty fun. We drafted a Teemo deck yesterday. These are not Teemo cards. J. Medarda is not a Teemo card. Shady character, not a Teemo card. And this is like, yeah. So this is, this is just a really bad Teemo bucket. I don't think we should go Teemo. Uh, so really, we're looking at the other two. Elise is very strong. Crawling Sensation, pretty average. Arachnid Horror is good. But, you know, we want to, like, draft a whole bunch of spiders and um shadow isles is not a bad place to be aggressive wise if we want to do that but it doesn't really pair that well with demacia unless like if we can get like uh dawn speakers with demacia the the one four that says that whenever you have a creature die give all your other creatures plus one plus one uh that works really well with the spiders um so that's a place to be or we just go uh noxion might which is probably the thing that pairs the well the best with demacia out of these three you know you have darius finally track the trash truck is here finally the other weeks i've been here they've been they've showed up at like 10 a.m it's like 2 30 um and then we get you know a two drop and another five drop the the one problem it looks like everybody's voted for the noxion the one the one thing about this is you know like we take darius we get shield breakers we have a six a five we already got two fives that's fine but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to kind of work on the one through fours and so uh demacia and noxus don't really have a whole lot of spells between them so we're gonna have to you know put a priority on spells um a premium i guess we can put a premium on spells for Demacia is a good spell, but usually you can get this for free from a from a the three mana three three. 
I absolutely love a Silverwing Vanguard. I think Challenger, if we're not going to have a lot of spells, we do want a good amount of Challengers. I think that's like how we can have some interaction. Um, and Challengers can help uh, big uh, Noxus creatures get through. So we have that. We have Elixir of Wrath, given Alley plus three plus zero, which isn't bad, and Whirling Death. And Whirling Death is awesome. So I'm, I really like Whirling Death. Um, good removal spell, and then Elixir of Wrath can basically be a, a trick, but isn't, isn't spectacular. And then we can get another Trifarian Hopeful and a Vanguard First Blade. Um, you know, so two two good creatures there. The two best cards are Whirling Death and, and Silverwing Vanguard. I would say Whirling Death 1, Silver v Silverwing Vanguard 2. Um, but but I would say that the worst cards are like these other spells. They're, they're not very good. Elixir of Wrath's probably the worst card in here. But I guess that's just that's just a good way of, of building stuff from from their perspective. Because it's probably I'd probably rank these cards one, two, three, four five six so it's perfect it's one and six two and five and three and four so let's see what the votes are um right now votes for the one of each of these ones um i think like these two cards are okay they're perfectly fine but they're kind of like filler creatures you can get filler creatures everywhere I think I want to either take the Silverwing Vanguard or the Whirling Death. I think these are the just these two cards are just much more powerful than other stuff. Silverwing Vanguard is really the best when you pair it with things that pump it, which I don't know, we may not have. I mean, we could have like a Elixir, but like that only pumps one of them. So I think I'm going to go with the Whirling Death and just grab the Whirling Death. That means we get the Elixir, and that does have the most votes now too. All right, <clears throat> we can lower the curve a little bit. Um, take Heart and Bull Elnuck are good cards, but I don't know if I really want to take a Freljord thing. Blade's Edge, one mana, deal one to anything. Efficient, but low on power level. Because uh, it's just one damage for an entire card. And then House Spider, good two drop. We can take Draven's Biggest Fan and Legion Rear Guard. Good one drop and... Not that good of a one drop since we don't have a Draven. Um, but Rear Guard's pretty good. So basically, I think House Spider and Rear Guard are the two best cards. I don't really want Blade's Edge or Draven's biggest fan, particularly. I think Blade's Edge is probably better than Draven's Biggest Fan. A 1 mana 2 1 is not super valuable in an expedition. I mean honestly this is the best this is the best pile, but I just don't really want to take the Freljord one. I think I'm I think I'm leaning towards House Spider or Blade's Edge. Alright, votes. This one has one more vote. The one drops. Y'all can, you know, chime in and chat also. If you're voting for one, if you have a, a reason why you like one pile more than the other. Um, I'm going to go with... I know this one has one more vote, but I think I'm going to take the House Spider and the Blade's Edge. I don't know. Am I underrating Draven's Biggest Fan? Maybe I'm underrating Draven's biggest fan. Do we have any any cards that makes me want to take either of these over the others? I guess because it, I guess Trifarian Hopeful makes me want to take one mana Noxus cards. Okay. All right, I'll take the one mana Noxus cards. No, same same channel. Or I said channel, sorry, same camera. Wrong word. Uh, same camera. Hey, Frostitch. Um, yeah, I just I like uh, I like Legends of Runeterra more than Magic. 
I think Legends of Runeterra is a really, really well put together game. And I wrote about that um, about 10 days ago. Yeah, same camera. I just I basically enlarged it a little bit. You know, I enlarged the window. Um, let's see. Trifarian Assessor. Basilisk Rider. Okay. Good good four mana cards. Like both of those are pretty good. Like they're both rare. Like they're both good four mana cards. Um but they, they make us want to play a lot of noxious stuff because you know Basilisk Rider and like uh, a lot of noxious stuff is five power. Vanguard Squire, when you summon an elite, reduce the cost by one. So definitely a lot better if you're playing a whole lot of elites, because a four mana three three is below the curve. It's worse than both of these. But if you start making it three, two, one, or even zero, you know, you get to play it and it costs zero mana. That's where you're really um, doing something good. And Van Vanguard Cavalry is is a perfectly serviceable five drop. Which we already have three, but <clears throat> It'd be another one. Or we can get Legion Rearguard, another good one, which rear I, I like Legion Rear Guards. One mana three two. That's that's like where you want to be. That's it's a good card. And then Savage Reckoner for the top end. Good seven drop. I think I'm leaning towards like either the first or the last. And I'm kind of leaning towards um the first. Let's see. Votes. All right. Votes are all about the first one. So there we go. Fill in our four mana slots. <clears throat> Mystic Shot. Good card, but I don't really want to go PNZ. All right. Another Trifarian Hopeful and a Legion Grenadier. So two good twos. Right now we just have the one Hopeful for a two drop. Um, and then a Standalone and a Laurent Duelist. I like... I like both of these cards, and I, I think I want to go this route. Um, while these two drops are just fine, you know, we can find two drops most likely. Standalone can be really powerful, um, and then Duelist also. You know, we're not going to have a, a ton of spells and, and interaction with with these colors. Duelist giving stuff Challenger. You know, like we can give like a Trifarian Hopeful Challenger. You know, or you know, some of these like bigger creatures um, give them Challenger. I like I like this route. And yep, looks like the votes votes are with me. All right, I think this is a pretty easy one. Um, well, maybe not. All right, so we got two tricks here with Might and Elixir of Wrath. I like Might a lot more than Elixir of Wrath, but we got those. I really like Vanguard Sergeant. Three mana, three, three, you draw a four Demacia, and a four Demacia is a good card, so you always get to draw a four Demacia. Uh, they can definitely win games. I really like Vanguard Sergeant. I think it's an underrated card. Uh, border lookout though not what we want so that's kind of a problem i also really like vanguard redeemer i i'm not sold that like redeemer is necessarily just better than vanguard sergeant because i'm not sold that like our random card in our deck is better than a four demacia and you do have to work to turn on vanguard redeemer where you don't have to work to turn on vanguard sergeant so i think that's actually probably a downgrade going for redeemer like with what we got going on here over sergeant but fleet feather tracker is just such a better card than border lookout that like those it's just not even close there so like even a slight downgrade here is just a huge upgrade and so i'm thinking that we're going with the last column Looks like y'all are voting for the, the two tricks, though. The Elixir of Wrath and the Might. It is true that we're not going to have a ton of tricks, but the Tracker can be a challenger. Um, and so I think I'm going to go with I'm going to go with this one. I think this is the, the column to go with. <laughs> uh yeah right now I, i've i have switched to legends of runeterra full time for now i don't know if i'll go back to arena or not uh, i have a couple of people asking about that here um but yeah i wrote why i like legends of runeterra more i've been 
something I've wanted to do for a while is uh, kind of change games, but Legends of Runeterra, you know, just came out uh, not too long ago and it is awesome. This game's really, really good and I recommend it and yeah, just enjoying, I'm really enjoying playing it and I think it'll pick up. All right, so it looks like everybody's voting for the middle one here. All right, so we got Guile and Arachnoid Sentry up. Decent cards. Bacillus Grider, decent card. Decimate, pretty good. Um, Guile is like the worst card out of all of these, but Detain and then Cythria. The reason why we're taking this middle one, I'm going with the, the people that are voting here. The reason why we're taking this middle one is because of Cythria. Um, just an awesome card. 6-6, um, six, six, six mana 6-6, six, six. attack, give all of your other allies plus one, plus one, and fearsome. You can kind of tell, you know, it's it's the epic. You know, it has the purple. It's the epic. It's going to be... It's the card that we want. Detain's not bad either. We can use Detain um, d defensively. That's how I, I mostly like... I In this kind of deck, like, we're, we're not going to be able to, like, protect anything that we... Like, if we Detain our opponent's um, units, we're not going to be able to protect our ally at all. And so I actually like using Detain as, like, a defensive trick against, like, a removal spell like or against, like, a bad block or anything like that. We can Detain our own thing. Um... I think this one is pretty close. All right, so we have Might and Shieldbreaker. This is the this first column I don't really want at all. Um, we have Vanguard Redeemer, good three drop, you know, draw a card. Like, we're going to want some card advantage, and this has card advantage. And then back to back, which is just a devastating trick. Six mana, give two allies, plus three, plus three to this round. This card is devastating and can definitely win games, which that could... So I'm, I'm really intrigued by that. But th these are these are two really good, um, efficient threats with, a you know, like, biggest one mana card, uh, one mana three, two in the game, and the biggest three mana card, the three mana five, four. I think those are really good, aggressive, efficient cards, but um, it's hard to pass up on this back-to-back, -to, -back, to be honest. The votes are pretty split here, though. All right. I think, yeah, this one's pulled ahead just a little bit. I think it's, I think we want to just get the back-to-back. -back. I think it's harder to find <laughs> those kind of game-breaking cards as opposed to just efficient creatures. That being said, we get another back-to-back -back and a Minotaur Reckoner. And Minotaur Reckoner is also... A bomb. Reckoner is just a pretty big bomb. So I guess we're gonna have, so we're gonna have five, six drops. I guess so. Like these are just bombs. Um, Bannerman is really good. I think Bannerman's re really underrated. I'm planning on building like Bannerman deck pretty pretty soon, uh, within the next couple of days for for constructed. But I'm I'm taking the bombs. I'm taking these six drops. So that's pick ten. So now we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get more two drops now. Now we're gonna have to kind of focus on some lower cost cards. This is pretty close. Yeah, no, ab absolutely, uh, Colonel. I mean, I've been playing Magic so much for ten years, and that's what I've. You know, like this game came out. You know, I, I was moving. I had a couple friends telling me about how good this game was, and I was just real excited to try it out, and then I loved it, and yeah. Yeah, that's that's kind of rough right now, Frost Stitch, But I'm I'm I want to see it through. You know, I want to stick with it, and I don't want to just abandon ship immediately. I like this game a lot, and I, I think this game. Hey, thanks, Frost Stitch. Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. Um, but no, I'm I'm not gonna lie. Like that, you know, it is. Yeah, the viewership's gone down a lot but um you know i want to 
you're welcome. I want to, you know, I want to see it through and I don't, because <clears throat> that happens to a lot of people, you know, try a new game, viewership's a lot lower and then just, all right, well, that's it. Viewership's lower, switch back. Well, viewership's obviously going to be lower. Try a new game. And, um, and you know, and, and also, you know, a changed name. Uh, um, because I don't want to just, you know, have like a specific game in my name. You know, I didn't want to change, you know, I'm not, you know, Todd Stevens LOR either. I, I don't want any games in the username. And, you know, so that, that hurts also and everything. But we'll see. Like this, this game's still in open beta. It's, you know, in, <clears throat> in the next couple of months, it'll be released fully and it's going to be on, uh, it's going to be on mobile, which is going to be awesome. You know, you get to play on your phone and everything. And, and I think this game is going to blow up. I just think it's the best card game ever. Um, yeah, so if, if I did something like a Magic Monday, would you be able to play effectively or do you think it would be pretty hard? Um, so, I, I mean, I, I would be able to play pr effectively. I wouldn't really be able to make decks effectively. But, you know, I could, like, play other lists and stuff. But the thing is, is is I really want to try to build a, a Legends of Runeterra audience. And I don't want to take... I don't know. I want to try to build the Legends of Runeterra audience. And, and you know, build my collection and get more used to this and start... You know, like, I think there's, there's a real uh, room to, you know, build new competitive decks and, and uh, do really well competitively in this game. And that's, that's what I'm... Um, that's what I'm focused on. <clears throat> Let's see. So what are y'all votes on this? Pretty split. Um, so we need we need cheaper cards, right? We need some cheaper creatures. So single combat is awesome. Like this this card's awesome. And Lauren Duelist is very good too. Whoa, Frostage. Thank you. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Frostage. Frostage getting us a sub goal. By themselves. We are at six subs on the day now. Gifted out five subs. Welcome to the to the to the new subs. And we got got some some great ones here. You know, NASCAR Father, J Jack Jr., and then Kelso Cope. Is that my boy Matt Kelso? EDL Nocturne. Thank you, Frostridge. All right, bucket number one, single combat Lauren Duelist. All right, so I love the single combat Lauren Duelist. I really like also, um, but we do have a lot of three mana, or we do have three mana creatures right now. I kind of want some more one and two mana creatures, which I really like. Basically, I, I want the rear guard more than the Duelist, but, um, and so like, is single combat that much better than might to take? The answer is, I, yeah, like we're not taking this last one. It's really between these two. Um, because I I'd rather have rear guard than duelist. I don't know. Duelist still has like that ability and everything too. We'll just take this. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure you can challenge. Um, uh, the I'm pretty sure you can challenge specific people. Pretty sure you can. All right, so Bright Steel Protector is a good two drop. Blade Keeper is a good four drop. You know, if you kind of look at our curve, we could use both of those. So the, those fit very well. Border Lookout, not a very good two drop. Uh, Radiant Strike for that. Yeah, Sub Battle Day. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. You know, if we can challenge, because yeah, that definitely. Definitely do some sub battle days. Absolutely, I think I think we're just gonna take this first column. Um, not really a transfu. I mean, I do like transfusion as a trick, but we need like actual two mana creatures right now.
Okay, so you can like you can like friend other people and then play against them. This is a tough one. These are all good choices. I like Tracker and Vanguard Redeemer, and I like Trifarian, and I really like Whirling Death, and I like really like Arena Battlecaster, and Might's good too. These are all good. So this is pretty tough. So let's see, at three mana I have, all right, so I have four three mana creatures, Duelist and Redeemer. It's not like we get, get to always play Redeemer also. I was thinking if I take Trifarian and Whirling Death, We may not be the best Battlecaster deck. I I kind of want to go Trifarian Whirling Death, but I don't know. Yeah, like Tracker, and then yeah, like this can be card advantage, and then Tracker can be removal. The better on the curve. This is a tough one. Hmm. I'm going to go Trifarian Whirling Death and get the three mana Whirling Death in here. I have, yeah, Frostrich, I have heard that before. If people learn to leave the channel on for the pets for, you know, Hawkeye being up here and everything. So, Luz, yeah, you understand why I've wanted to change games, which I've wanted to change games for a while, and, and this came out, and I've changed games. This is a another tough call. Do I have okay, so I have the one assessor. Hmm. I do like Swiftwing Lancer a lot, but I don't know, maybe we don't need another five. And I really like Laurent Protege. Laurent Protege is a, a great card too. But maybe it's better to go rear guard assessor. The thing is, you know, like we may not actually draw cards off assessor. Assessor could just be a four mana four three, which isn't amazing. And I really like a mem remembrance. I think remembrance is a strong card, but I don't really like mage seeker Investi investigator. So. This could be a decent card for for constructed though. Maybe we need to play that a little bit more in constructed. Anyway. What do y'all think? So y'all are voting for the middle one. It's just that this Mage Seeker Investigator is the card that I want the least out of any of these cards. I'm kind of leaning towards this one over here for the two challengers. Hmm. Y'all are y'all are just voting for these two though. All right, let's let's count up how many five five power creatures we have. So this that's like maybe so like we'll count it. So that's one, two, three. This could maybe turn something in. So maybe four, and then five, six, seven, eight nine ten like so we have like the big stuff but if we're playing this on turn four it's probably not drawing cards but if we play it later on it could draw cards 
I'm going to take these Challenger cards. I think Protege and Lancer are going to be more impactful. All right, and last thing we can do is we can make a trade. We can trade Scythria for Trifarian Hopeful. Eh, I don't think we really need to do that. We could trade a Duelist for a Trifarian. I think that's probably a good trade for us. Um, Duelist usually trading down, Trifarian trading up. Or we can trade Draven's Biggest Fan for Trifarian Glory Seeker. And that's the trade that I'm going to do. That's that's the trade I like the most. I don't really like uh, Draven's Biggest Fan considering we don't even have a Draven. And Trifarian Glory Seeker can be a good removal spell. I'm kind of focused on Challenger aspect. So we'll see how this goes. We have some powerful cards. We have some, you know, our deck's kind of a little clunky. We don't have a whole lot of great interaction. Um, but we do have some powerful top end cards. So, you know, we'll kind of see how this goes. Three, four, five, six. Well, we want to do stuff on turn one and two. Um,. I'm just going to ship it all back. Okay. Thanks, Blade. Is it my pick? Not quite. Won't get past me. Hmm. I'll do better this time. Attack formation. For the hand. The finest Demosian steam. Wow, they just took it. If I didn't forge it, you won't want it. Guess I should have attacked with the 2 2 also. I knew it, attacking with the 2 2 would guarantee that <clears throat> we would trade with Elixir of Wrath. You know, like we would trade two for one, but then we would draw with here. I thought that maybe they would be too scared of taking all that damage and they would block. That would be that would have been the best case scenario is them blocking and then me playing Redeemer. Hmm. Our ancestors are watching. Hey, what's up, Storm? That Bannerman is so good. I talked about that like while we were drafting. Yes, yeah, so they are under 10 for Darius, and then we'll have Elixir of Wrath also give Darius plus 3. Thirteen. I am not afraid. <laughs> no! 
So if I make this block, they don't have a creature bigger with toughness bigger than four. How are they do get they can play a creature, so it's possible that they will play one and that will be bad, but right now I know I just you know chump blocked out, but right now they don't have a creature with toughness bigger than four. Oh come on. Well, this is bad. I'll do better this time. Do not waver. I wish I could kill this Dauntless Vanguard, but I can't. Doing good, Storm. How are you doing today? Alright, so we're going to have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How are we getting through this? Let us settle this with great sensibility. We march. Definitely doing that. My seal is yours. We're definitely doing this. And I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, they got a whole lot of Battlesmiths over here. And a whole bunch of Vanguard Redeemers and everything, too. Wow. All right. Lose. Just please... Take my skill! You, you are a supporter. Yes, you're... You know, you've been subscribed for a long time and everything, and I really appreciate that. But... No doubt you've held with me. I protect my own. But we're trying to just, you know, move forward and... Um... Ugh, GG. 
outrageous. All right, so lost our first one. Oh, and I put it down in the win column. Whoops. Lost our first one. Good deck there with the Battlesmiths. Went bigger than me. I like a lot of these trades. I think I'm going to go with... Hmm. Actually, maybe, maybe not. So I probably want single combat over detain. Sing think single combat's going to be better there. I was thinking to doing this middle one, Vanguard Redeemer, for a crowd favorite, but actually, maybe not. Maybe I'll actually want Vanguard Redeemer. Um, all right, Forks, have a good one. And then uh, the last one, I think I want the one the one mana creature. We're not going to do the last one. So actually, let's do this first one. Let's get rid of the detain for a single combat. You know, cheaper interaction. We'll go with that. Arma and Nivea. You want? I think we should keep the Darius because Darius is is such a powerful card. Ugh. Even though it doesn't help my curve, it, I was hoping that my other draws I would still be able to fill in the curves just fine. But no, getting punished for keeping the Darius because we've drawn five five six. Okay, that's better. The problem with playing Glory Seeker here, though, is we play Glory Seeker, they just play a really crappy creature to block with. I want to use Glory Seeker more as a removal spell. Like, they play a good creature, then we play Glory Seeker and kill their good creature. No, I've never... No, I never play League of Legends. I'm more of a... You know, a card game player than a... Uh, I guess however you'd describe League of Legends. Assessor draws one card. I could wait till late game after we play Lancer, Darius, Lancer, and try to draw more. And instead play Proje. I think I'm going to do that. Hey, Ravoki. Stratol is a mountain and covered in ice. All right, let's see. So that's easy. And that's easy. The more difficult thing was if I wanted to glory seeker either of these. Hey, Rochian. All right, so flying life linker. I go unseen. This is uh, turning out a lot better for us than what it looked like at the at the start. You know, with the one mana, then two fives, two sixes. This has really been coming around now. Hmm. You 
earned the right to call themselves Trifarian. That doesn't use my mana well at all. But I, I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm overextending too much to play either of these, and I feel like it's a little greedy waiting on Assessor when I'm drawing two cards. So I'm just gonna take the, the two cards. Where there is life, there is hope. All right, so they got Karma. Karma Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. So them taking 13 damage like this. <clears throat> we have the back to back also. Frostbiting those two things. Now that's 16. Yeah. <laughs> Sturmhard getting the gifted sub. Yeah, that that yeah, the the badge is the yeah, that's that's the sub badge as a tie. It would be nice to have a better looking one of those, but yeah. Thanks, Frostitch. Alright, what'd they do with the, the last card? Oh, just another Will of Ionia for what oh, for for the glory seeker? Keep their karma alive? They, they don't have like a, like their sweeper is, you know, deal two damage to everything. You know, like they don't have ruination. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to be super scared about. Here to win the war, soldier. Stand to. Sharpen the blades, secure the kill. The answer lies within. All right, let's stack. So we'll attack with this stuff. Have those, drag those things over there. Over there. So they gotta have. Okay, I was gonna say like. Uh, the body must thrive for the mind to be free. You probably need like harsh winds. Oh, or they just have a bunch of health potions. Keeps them alive, but this is still a really good attack for me. Like these are really good trades. That's fine. They've used like, you know, all their cards. They're gonna lose two creatures. I'm gonna lose two creatures. They walked around. 
Oh, and I draw a card. I have a few more creatures than they than they do. Our ancestors are watching. But you can see how spells are pretty important. Like your pauldrons. Yours are also accepted. You can only have six. You can only have six creatures in play. Joke debate. Double Windsor, yeah. I'm. I always do the the full Windsor. The. Um, yeah, double double Windsor. That's my favorite knot. All right, so this is going to kill my Garen, but we got more creatures, so it's all good. Yeah, go to go to your uh, collection and then go to decks, and there's an import deck button up at the top of the collection. You just click that, you just click import deck, and then you can put in the code for it. Alright, Blade. See you back here in a minute. Cool. Found it. All right, they only got two cards. How are they surviving this one? That went a lot better than it looked, you know, at first. Like, when you just had the one drop and then a bunch of expensive stuff, that looked like that was going to be pretty tough. Hmm. There's some interesting buckets. I feel like the one that I like the most is this Lucian bucket. Radiant Guardian being awesome, and Fleet Feather Tracker giving us another cheap challenger. Lucian being kind of cheap. You know, if you even just look at like the mana cost total, you know, like these three cards cost eight, where, you know, we have like eight, then 11, then 15 for the mana costs. Because so I, I feel like we have good top ends. We have a lot of good fives and sixes, and, you know, this will add another five. So I think we're okay there. So I kind of want like the other one and two. So let's take let's take the Lucian.
Trindamir, Draven, Darius. Those are good cards. So of course the bad news is I don't have anything to play on turn two, but the good news is we get to bank the two spell mana so we can have single combat available for a future turn whenever we want it. Oh, I shouldn't have passed. They're just going to pass back, and I'm just going to waste all that mana. Oh, they did go to attacks. Ooh, I got lucky. Because that's what I wanted them to do is go to attacks, because then I get to play the Redeemer, but... I figured, oh, they're not going to play the Redeemer. Alright, well, that worked out. Five, five. Five five's too big. Another five five. Yeah, Yeti tribal. If they have no tricks, man, another Yeti. If they have no tricks, I can, um, I can three for two myself. I can Explosive. get rid of three of these cards to take care of two of theirs, as far as the five fives go. No, I'm three for one-ing, not two-ing. I'm taking out one thing. Doggos are in the, they're in the living room. Harvey's been not feeling well recently. She ate uh, too much of a bone and has been throwing up. I think she'll be good in a couple of days. Gosh, I'm just getting rid of one of these things, aren't I? It's not ideal. Not ideal at all. Okay, Radiant Guardian can be awesome. Ooh. That's a good card. 
virtue guides me. Radiant Guardian with these whirling deaths can be awesome. They just got the one card in hand. I just got to hope they don't have a trick. If they don't have a trick, we're good. I will end this here. Why even try? So if I play the other Whirling Death, I don't gain enough life to, you know, like, I can only go up to 20, of course. And I'm glad I waited. Glad I waited. to call themselves Trifarian. So I wanted to play the Assessor. I don't know, maybe I should play the Bannerman. Because, like, Bannerman wasn't going to turn anything else into a 5-power creature. What we have before the Assessor. But I would have hit. We had two Demacia cards back-to-back -back there. As Noxus wills. This will be quick. Could use back to back to save that thing. Maybe that's wrong with me not using back to back to save that thing. I do like creatures dying for for Lucian. No, we didn't trigger allegiance. We had like three or four, I guess, yeah, four Demacia cards in a row. I didn't trigger allegiance. It cuts above the head. Should be lethal. I, I don't know if they'll be able to make it a, a block that saves them. I mean, well, I guess they can if they if they block the four three and the, the three two. I guess and you know and Lucian Lucian in the four three. Yeah, because I can only put him down to one. So we'll save Lucian. Put him down to four. I'll bring them peace. And of course, Lucian has double attack. Hold the Empire. I'm just not expecting Avalanche. You know, I am playing cards into Avalanche, but really not expecting that. 
I mean, I guess that they could have Avalanche with all their Yetis. Like, that could be, like, their plan is, like, Avalanche Yeti. All right, picking up win number two. Got the quest done. Get that XP up. Next win it should get us this capsule. Let's see, nope. Trade, not trading single combat away. Basilisk Rider for back to back and Duelist for Trifarian. Uh, let's see, I have two duelists, one Trifarian. I think that would be a pretty good trade, but back-to-back -back is so good. I kind of want to trade this Bacillus Grider, but I guess I only have, let's see, I only have the four, or the three four drops. I only have the three four drops right now. Um, Bacillus Grider doesn't, you know, hits only like a third of the time. So I guess it's just a four me and a five two for a third of the time, or for two thirds of the time. It's not that strong. I'm gonna take the back to back. We've seen how we we have enough creatures where we can flood the board, but we could have like too many creatures in hand. We need to have some tricks available. They're a Teemo Lucian deck, a three color Teemo Lucian deck. Interesting. Yeah, they're crying because they know that we are going to be killing the Teemo. Got your back. Wow, that got even better. Charged up and ready to go. All right, so they're going to try to out-aggro us. A little surprised they didn't make that trade whenever I have the tracker that can kill the 3-1. Alright, we'll save the single combat. Save that mana that may help, like, Garen. Um... The halls are bone with blades in hand. Throw me mask, scare me tail, out to die. I'll do better this time. That's unfortunate. I want to keep that alive for Assessor, but it's it's the kind of thing that I really should make that trade. I go ways to form in mushrooms. For justice. For Demacia. Hey, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I kinda agree with you, Serenity. It definitely took me it took me a little while, like the first day getting used to how fast like the, the animations and the card play is and stuff. They are, I agree that they're snappy. That's a good way to put it. Um, cause yeah, you can, if you're not you watching carefully, you'll be like, wait, what happened? Armed and ready. Garen fighting Teemo. Garen will regenerate, and now Garen has struck once, so Garen strikes another time. We do what is right. And Garen will level up. Press 
They have eight cards in hand, but we know four of them are just the Mushroom Cloud, so they're really like, four, you know, four cards, which is what I got as well. Feel pretty good about this, considering we got rid of both of their Teemos. They have no Teemos left. They can, they could have like a Lucian. I just let Lucian die and then I can, you know, play like double redeemer. Oh, that's a right there. Otherwise I'm casting back to back. Maybe I just play Radiant Guardian instead of Double Redeemer. So we got 43 puff caps now. So every every draw is going to be costing us two life on average. So I think we need this 5-5 five five life steal out. Oh, I, I did have Rally on their turn. Because I... Oh, well... Yeah, I guess I missed that. I missed that I had the Rally token. It's way over there. Yeah, I missed that. My bad. Could have gone for, for lethal. Of course. My sword is yours to command. No doubt. Only victory. Huh. Oh, man. I guess I could lose if I draw. I guess it's possible for me to lose if I play this and draw too many... Too many puff caps if I get super unlucky with puff caps. All right, well, well, we will actually attack this time. Yeah, I forgot about the Garen Rally thing. There, that last turn. Excuse you. Deal three to each enemy that was summoned this round. That was nobody. I'll just cast those for fun. Keep all our stuff alive. 
even though the game's over. <clears throat> Alright, three and one. Oh, if I would... Yeah, yeah, that would have hit nothing, but okay. If I would have used the eye, would it have shown what gets hit? Or does it just, just show what I get hit if I would have moused over it? Alright, so since we got three wins, we get another champion. Um, this is a tough one. Alright, so, you know, Lucian, and then a standalone and a Radiant Guardian. I don't know if we'll... We have the one standalone already. This is kind of tough. Radiant Guardian is really, really good. But I'm not sure how good the standalone will be with our deck. Um, Garrett, Laurent, Bladekeeper. The Bladekeeper has looked nice. I like both of those. Decisive Maneuver. I'm not sold on. I don't really love Cato the Arm. I don't know. Okay. You just got a mouse over the spell. Gotcha. What are y'all voting here for this one? Guess I'm kind of leaning towards the Demacia spells. Which uh, would be the first one. Y'all are voting for the third one. Going Garen, Laurent, Bladekeeper, and Decisive Maneuver. I could see that. I think Garen is stronger than Lucian. Um, Bladekeeper is stronger than Standalone. Um, but Radiant Guardian is miles better than Decisive Maneuver. But at the end of the day... Radiant Guardian is just another 5-mana creature. We do have 5-mana creatures. I guess you going with this. Garen, Garen is stronger than Lucian. Alright. I'll go with the votes. We'll go, we'll go with this. We'll see how this decisive maneuver treats us. Rewards. Wild Capsule. Get those wild cards. All right, got some more wild cards. All right, we're going for the champion capsule. On our way there. So Noxus has Darius and Draven, which I, I have three of each of those. And Vladimir, I have three of, and Katarina. I only have one Katarina. So, like, going towards the champion capsule with Noxus means we'll, we'll get a Katarina. That's what, that's what we're going for here. Going, for, going towards the Katarina. I could, see, I could see just getting rid of all of them, to be honest, and just redoing. Safety mode. <laughs> Didn't build one. That's a good one. Ooh, we got Minotaur Reckoner. Almost forgot about that. We're going to have a pretty good late game. Can stop me. Here we go. We're going to try to single combat one of these. This may be a bad use of single combat. Basically, I'm trading two for two. I'm trading my Trifarian and my single combat for their two, three, one quick attacks. Um, but the... I say the good part about trading here is that then the Redeemer draws a card. That's what I was kind of going for. Now we have Protégé. I'll just wait on Protégé. Because I want to play Garen next turn and I want to play Reckoner after that. Like Those are the two cards I want to play the next two turns. Clear. 
Quite right, quite right. So one cost allies get plus two, plus two. I don't like that. That means they play Teemo. Then uh, Teemo is a 3-3. Three, three, and then Protege does not kill Teemo. I don't like that. A foray into the field? How exciting. For king and country. So one mana, three, four. When you draw a card, it gets plus one, plus zero. Demacia will prevail. Boo. Just as I hypothesized. Hmm. That professor is pretty cool. Charged up and ready to go. Well, that's easy. The question is, do I attack with Reckoner or not? I think the answer is probably not. We have a better battlefield and more cards. It's a good place to be. <clears throat> Eight mana. Not a good place to be. If I play back to back, I can't play anything else. Like that. So we're trading our back to back and our redeemer for three cards. Good. I'll take that. The thing is, I don't. Let's see. I've brought my books. Hope that's all right. We got another three four. Hey Blade, yeah, we're doing good. No boy, yep, yep, I'm flying. Who does not know the name Laurent? Good three one, and we're looking really good in this game as well. Oh, that's a harvest right there. I was considering just attacking with the duelist and just letting the duelist die and then playing Radiant Guardian. <clears throat> which maybe should have been the route to take. Probably attacking with Jinx, right? I'll give you to the counter. Right 
virtue guides me. Well, that's good. I want I want to pass because I wanted to be able to play back to back and Radiant Guardian. But I don't see them attacking anymore, so we'll we'll just be able to play the Redeemer as well. Today we turn the tide of war. Ooh. So we're gonna have 13 mana, so I can go Scythria and one back to back, or we could have two back to backs, or I could have decisive maneuver. No, let's just go Scythria. I'd like to get Jinx out of here. But if I would have played Decisive Maneuver, it wasn't... It wasn't... Um, like if I stun one of these things, then they must block with Jinx. I think we're doing pretty good. I wonder what they have in hand that they're not emptying their hand. Cause you know, like they want to empty their hand and then cast a super mega death rocket. Let's take a summy for a spin. So we're looking good here. Oh. We're looking good just a little bit ago. Just a little bit ago. Why would they not cast that first? Duelist is just going to be dying anyway. No doubt you've heard of me. I am not afraid. <laughs> oh, they didn't have the mana to play the rocket. Oh. I forgot about that whole ma the mana thing. Okay, so then maybe I didn't need to block with that three one like that. Casting that meant that any combination of two of my creatures would be lethal in case of a burst removal spell. But, you know, it was a little unnecessary. Alright, four and one. 
Moving on. Ooh. What is this card? Deal damage. Oh, deal double damage to the Nexus. Oh, that card's not great. I'm going to do this middle trade. I'm going to get another Radiant Guardian. Radiant Guardian is awesome. Elixir of Wrath is kind of meh. Does kind of ruin, you know, hurts my curve even more, but, you know, going power over curve. They have Thresh and Hecarim. Oh, their deck's going to be good. They probably have like two Hecarim and two Thresh, or they have three of one of those. Their deck's going to be good. Where's my axe? You got a good aggressive start. Speaking of good. Lady Elise, where are you? Three, turn one, three, two, turn two, five, two, turn three, five, four. You have to get me out of here. And then our deck is filled with fives and sixes, so I'm glad we got all this stuff here, and then we can just draw into our five and six mana cards when we need them. If I block here, then you know, like we trade trade with those, trade with these, with those trade, those trade. If I don't, I can go duelist on the five two, have the five two kill the one one, and then have the the three one attack something else. I think that's my that's my plan. We're gonna go duelist on the three two, or sorry, on the five two. So they don't get to just use this spider to trade with my three one. Now you know trade. I'd much rather have these kind of trades. There we go. So if I would have blocked, basically everything on the board would have just traded across the board. Taking that three, using the challenger ability, now we get to keep a 5-1. Oh, Babbling Bjerg to go along with Hecarim and Thresh. It doesn't... No, it doesn't target either of those, actually. Alright, good block. Get to draw a card. We know they have at least one 5-power creature in hand. They play a small creature. I could single combat and before going to regular combat. Mm. I don't need to use it, though. Basically using that to get another two points of damage across. It probably has a better use. Somewhere else. Down the line. The chains, they never stop.
Darn, I wanted them to take... I wanted them to take the 2-1, because I wanted to have the 2-5 power creatures for the Assessor. I know... I, I could have stunned it. So the 5-2 is going to die... You know, the thing about uh, that that maneuver is, you know, you do open yourself up to getting two for one, but we were already going to lose that card anyway, so it wasn't really a two for one if they would have had, like, another instant speed removal spell. Are they gonna just ruination me? I sure hope not. Wow. Wow. I fight for the fallen. That was not good. So afterwards, they have seven cards. I had five. So, you know, they're up two cards now. But not... It's not the end of the world. We're just down two cards, but we got some powerful ones. You will be scoured from this land! Including Assessor, that can draw a lot of cards for me. They just passed? They're setting up another Ruination? That's gotta be pretty unlikely, right? That they have a second ruination. They can't cast it this turn because they only got seven mana. All right, I will say that seems unlikely. An another ruination, that is. Draw two or go for the greed and try to draw three. Yeah, it's hard to just get the one ruination, yeah, because it's you know it's an epic. Victory requires a sharp blade. Going for greed. All right, I'll have to worry about that, Hecarim. Only the finest serve. All right, that's the first step to taking down Hecarim. Nice. 
I guess this is second step. And then we'll just go straight to combat. They're at 12. We're attacking for 14. What's the Garen's card? Judgment? Judgment's pretty busted. Oh, wait. We're not attacking for 12 anymore. Oh, they're not going to have another Ruination, right? We are forged in war. Yeah, they lost the two attack, right? They had the, the buff from there. Um, oh, they just passed? You're gonna have like vengeance, right? Yeah, there's vengeance. Maybe I should have played the other Garen also. Expecting vengeance. Oh, yeah, I guess they could have harsh winds. You could be so much more. Yeah, harsh winds is. A possibility. Push back the darkness. I play Sithria next turn and then they have another ruination. I'm gonna be really sad. Not a reason to play Sithria. Sweet. Five and one. Our deck doesn't seem like anything special, but, you know, just picks up the wins. It's just, you know, pretty good cards. Trade Shieldbreaker for Mage Seeker Conservator. Last Breath, create in hand a six plus cost from. A region other than Demacia. I like that card. That's that's an uh, that's enticing. Could trade decisive maneuver for Le Legion veteran whenever another ally survives damage. Grant it plus one plus zero. That's probably an underplayed card. That's also a little enticing to get you know get a four drop. And then Redeemer for Savage Reckoner. Eh, I don't really want a seven drop. I kind of like trading one of my fives, considering I have so many fives and picking up a one or a four. Like, this card's not, you know, one mana, one one's not great, but getting a random six plus cost spell, like, those spells are usually really good. And, all right, so right now I have two Garens, two Radiant Guardians, two Swift Wing Lancers at. Five mana. All six of those are better than Shieldbreaker. Shieldbreaker is my worst six, my worst five drop. Sorry, I meant at five mana. All like all of those are better than Shieldbreaker. You like both of the these trades? Yeah, I do too. I'm gonna go with the top one. I think that's the one I like the most. I like that trade. Okay. Heimerdinger Garen. This 
This is a much better curve now. Kind of wasting this whole barrier thing, but it, it makes it so like they can't really play a creature till after combat. Or not. So presumably they attack. I block. I play Vanguard Redeemer. We got to trade our 2-1 for the 3-3. Three, three. It's not bad. Just curving out. Just curving out. There they go. And we've got burst speed. Doesn't take up their priority. That's fine. That's fine, just fine. Settle this with great sensibility. My steel is yours. Okay, good. I was worried they would be taking the 5 4 and then having something, I don't know exactly what, but then killing my 5 4. Soldiers to me! This could be too early for the Scythria. Like, you know, like maybe I need to keep up this kind of stuff. Hey, Joe Tim. Thank you so much. It's probably Wacom. Nothing stands in our way. Could definitely see them having, you know, another mystic shot, something like that, you know, something to finish off my challenger. Um, but you know, the challenger does have uh sure, give that a barrier. You know, it does have last breath, so I'd get another card and they're not doing any damage to Scythria, which is really nice. Transform a follower into another follower. Uh, 
How about we have the followers battle each other instead of get transformed into one another? Outrageous. That sounds like a better plan to me. Show them our metal. All right, gonna take the trade so that we get to play Redeemer. Avenger. Oh wait, no, I meant Radiant Guardian. Justice will be served. Right, I'm the man for Radiant Guardian. That was my plan originally, but then I started saying Redeemer, and yeah, I don't know. Anyway, right let's go attack. Back to back, getting our back. G to the G. And we're on to the final boss, six and one. Let's go. All right, we're gonna be able to make some, some trades here. We're gonna make, what, six trades? Yeah, we get six trades. All right, so we can trade that Conservator for a Prismatic Barrier, which that's not bad. Barrier is really good. That's not bad. We're not trading away Reckoner. We could trade away Hopeful for other Reckoner. Uh, probably not doing that one either. So do I want to get rid of Conservator for the Prismatic Barrier? Um, that's a tough, that's tough. I don't know, like that's, that is pretty tough. Prismatic Barrier can just like save all these like really good five drops. Um, I think, I think so. I think we make that trade. Okay. I can get rid of the standalone and get a shield breaker. Which the standalone isn't very good, but you know we could do that. Rear guard for tracker. Um, not like the having the one rear guard. Duelist for lancer. Lancer is definitely better than duelist. Um, hey, what's up, Boo? How's work today? If I get rid of a Duelist, I still have, I would still have two, three, four, five. Still have five three mana creatures. Uh, rough day. Sorry to hear it, man. I think I'm going to just pass on the trades. I think I'm going to just keep the Duelist. All right. Uh, no, no, no. They just want me to trade up mana, and I don't really want to trade up mana. I could see doing Maneuver for Reckoner. I don't love Decisive Maneuver. I could see getting getting Savage Reckoner instead. But the Decisive Maneuver has been good for us. I'm just going to skip. Why don't they ever let you trade down mana? <laughs> so we're we're going on to the final boss. We're six and one. Um, which, there you go. Now you can see it right there. So yeah, we're six and one. Uh, going on to the final boss. We get a few trades if we want to trade. I think I... I uh, Rear Guard is probably better than Cythria. So like, that's a good trade. Um, yeah, it's just a three, two instead of a two, two. We'll take that. Ooh. This middle one's enticing. Trading a back to back for a Dawn Speakers. Dawn Speakers is really good, but man, back to back is just awesome. It's been winning us games. I'm just gonna skip this. They just want to take all my best cards. Um Okay, the only one that, um, uh, <laughs> 
All right, Narnan, yeah, I'll, I'll message you. Um, the one that I could see here is trading away the standalone for the crowd favorite. We have a lot of creatures, and we're going to have a lot of creatures all the time. Um, so I think I want the crowd favorite instead of the standalone. All right, it's final boss time. Here we go. Let's get that final boss playlist. Timo Heimerdinger. I mean, again, I think we just, you know, try to find our, our cheap cards. Whirling Death is good, but it's a good good trick for, like, the mid-late game. I want to find just other lower curve things. <clears throat> well, I have to say, this works out pretty well. This doesn't seem like too difficult of a hand. Uh... How can I help? To curve oh, out with. That's a good one. Yeah. That's even a difficult hand to play. You know, we just play one, then two, then three, then four, then five. Hey, Yud. What do you mean what happened to the camera? Break their spirit and their sword. Happy to do whatever's needed. Wow, did you see that? I demand satisfaction. Aha. All right, their hands been good as well. We're up a card right now. I you. Three through crowd favorite isn't the best. I mean, I guess that could have been standalone, you know, like we could have turned this thing into a larger creature, but maybe the three three will be better anyway. Please don't have Static Shock. Yay. If I fall, so, so now we can make this trade. Now that we pumped up this thing once, and now that we get the Death Trigger with the Radiant Guardian. What seems to be the problem? Ooh. Justice will be served. Hammerdinger is pretty good. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. Hmm. I need to have the duelist give one of these things challenger to kill the Heimerdinger with. But now this is going to frostbite my Radiant Guardian. So 
long as I get rid of Heimerdinger, we can still be just fine. Send up my spine. Oh, okay. Or I could use Trifarian Glory Seeker also. Um... Let's see what they do whenever I play that. Wow. Oh wait, I have back to back, but still. Means they're gonna get what, a seven one. Alright, Heimerdinger's out of here. Now next, we need to take care of the Rhyme Tusk Shaman. Use the Glory Seeker for that. I wonder if the, what they'll count either Garen or Radiant Guardian as the larger creature. The frost reveals all. All right, the Garen. The answer is that. I think grace, beauty in the blade. Banish the unworthy. You're mine. I'll show you how it's done. Yeah, I think I think the the uh, rarity is the tiebreaker. So now the Rhyme Tusk Shaman is going to start giving the Radiant Guardian um, Yeah, we'll still fr we'll start frostbiting this thing. But that just means we'll be able to strike with Garen. That's not bad. There was a little fella asking for me. Why would they make this attack? Do they have trample or anything? That doesn't make a lot of sense to make that attack. Just 
on the board, they need that 7 1 to trade with my Garen. Yeah, I could have gone for Judgment, but yeah, it's good. All right, seven win dream. Got there. All right. So just like yesterday, so we started off with the seven win trial. Um, you know, it's had some... You know, our deck wasn't like too fancy or anything. It was just... Just pretty good cards, you know, really good creatures with Demacia and Noxus added together. And, uh, and you know, had good top end. You know, like our fives and sixes were really good. We had some of the best five and six mana cards, uh, especially for Expeditions. You know, Radiant Guardian, Garen, Darius, Cythria, um, the, you know, Minotaur Reckoner, the, the Challenger. The five mana five four elite challenger that also has last breath. You know, like those are all really good cards, and so like that's what we were doing. We were just, um, you know, putting out units early and either getting a little bit ahead or at least not getting behind, and then dropping those five and six drops, um, and they were awesome, and took over the games for us. Also, you know, had a little bit of card advantage with the the. Vanguard Redeemers and the Assessor. So we had a little bit of card advantage. And then also we had the great tricks, the back-to-backs. You know, we had triple back-to-back -to, -back, um, to also just win win combat in the late game. You know, so it was all about, like, surviving early, you know, get ahead or at least be in parity, play some awesome five and six mana cards, and then back-to-back back-breaking -back, back tricks to win it so that seems like a good good strategy it's a good good formula uh for moving forward so if you're trying your own expeditions you know like those are good you know good formula hopefully like those are some good cards to kind of kind of look after and and watch for and everything like that uh in the expedition all right but that was our first expedition we're going to be playing another one here and uh um, doing our second trial and seeing if we can get the 7-7 seven, seven combo, which I don't know if I ever have before. Um, that'll be what we play up next. All right, but those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there and you know, feel free to leave those comments. Uh, let me know what you think of the deck and all that kind of stuff. But thank you so much for watching this expedition and I will see you for the next video.